and there were stacks of these papers in all the news agents, and we looked at each other and said, well, what have we done? It, by Tuesday, and I promise you by Tuesday, we had a sellout. <laughs> Well, um, I'm usually self-effacing, but I'd like to say it was definitely my idea. And at the time, I say the first uh, strip we did was with the strip cartoon story. It was with TV comic, which is Supercar. And that brought me into contact with a great guy called Alan Fennell, who eventually became, I'm not sure he's a full-time script writer, but he did a lot of the scripts, quite a number of the series. And I used to sit down and brainstorm with uh, Alan. And I said, Alan, I've got this idea for this children's comic. And I was very mindful of The Eagle, which uh, was the preeminent comic in those days, created by a retired reverend. I don't know whether he was retired or not, Marcus Morris. And he came up with this good, clean comic for kids. Uh, called Eagle, which was the most, probably the most successful comic ever. And in day, he was selling over a million copies a week. So I had this copy of Eagle. I said, that's, that's our market. That's what we're going to build. And Alan went away after, you know, several meetings and came up with a, a marvelous dummy, which I was so excited about. I took it straight to a publisher. I'll come back in a moment. But the working title was Century 21, because by that time we changed the name of the company from AP Films, which was a bit uh, anonymous to be anything, into Century 21, which I think reflected what we were about and what we were trying to do. So the working title for the comic was called Century 21, and it eventually became TV 21. We were very nervous about TV 21 because in those days, in their acronyms and short, it didn't, it, I mean, it would work today, but it, in those days, I think, again, we were pioneering. And I took it to a publisher and they said, we love it, but it's not our scene. I took it to Lou Grade. I said, Lou, we want to launch this. I want 30,000 pounds, please, to launch this comic. And he said, geez, he said, go out and license it. And he introduced me to, uh, well, before that, I, w I went and had a meeting with uh, all people of the news of the world. It was run by the Carr family. And I met a guy, a lovely guy called Clyde Carr who's currently a director of Arsenal Football Club, and I go there most week to know. Um, and they had a company called City Magazines, and we did a joint venture with City Magazines. And we were responsible for the editorial, and we have built a department eventually uh, in Fleet Street, 167 Fleet Street, and we had 120 people on the pay payroll producing two comics and books or whatever. Uh, we, we did the creative side, and City Magazines did the uh, distribution and the promotion. So we had this comic, uh, we launched this, I don't know, 63, 64, I can't remember the day. And we decided to have it printed in Liverpool by a firm called Eric Bemrose, I think they're still there. Um, went up with our team, and I was given a, a pride of place, and I pressed this green button to start the press rolling, and we printed 700,000 copies, which was a lot of paper, I can tell you. We put them in the shops and we all went round like uh, expectant mums or whatever on the Saturday morning. And there were stacks of these papers in all the news agents and we looked at each other and said, well, what have we done? It, by Tuesday, and I promise you by Tuesday, we had a sellout. So we, I wouldn't say we had instant success, but it was, I, I've never seen anything quite like it and the euphoria was unbelievable. And that continued, I mean, the circulation of that grew uh, and the following year, we launched, we launched another uh, a children's weekly called Lady Penelope, and that eventually settled down to about 500,000 copies. So at, at our peak, we were selling 1.2 million copies per week of this publication. Uh, we took it to Holland, and we did a deal there. We had a Dutch language edition selling 100,000 copies a week. So we had a, a sister publication in Holland doing 100,000, which was... Fantastic. It was, it was going to be a newspaper. I mean, it was a newspaper, and we, it was post-dated. Uh, I mean, it was dated into the 21st century, um, and that was part of the charm, because we, we ran a, a dateline, which was uh, 2000, whatever it was, I can't remember the dates. So, and it, we, the style of, the, of it 
the front page was newspaper style. So we had banner headlines and so on. Um, so we wanted it to be different. Yeah. Uh, most comics of the day had stripped cartoons on the front. We had real stories, well, we put them across as real stories, and they read like real stories. So we were treating our readers uh, like young adults, which of course they were, and uh, they let start to it. We got a lot of acclaim for the creativity of the, of the, of the whole project. We, we were all involved, I mean, people say you can't create in committee, um, but I think with the right committee, you can, and it was, we were all sufficiently relaxed and free thinking that we could take ideas on board. And I don't believe anybody had the monopoly of, of the creativity. And we'd sit down and, um, uh, and, and Jerry, he was there, sure. I mean, he was there, but he was very busy making films too. Um, but if ever we needed an inspiration, we'd uh, find an excuse to have a lunch together or bottle of wine or whatever, and we'd sit around and, uh, and talk. And it's amazing what you can do across uh, the table with uh, a few like-minded people. And we were all pointing in the same direction. Nobody was concerned about ego, I don't think. Um, I mean, you know, film credits are a different matter. But, you know, it's, we were all enjoying the success. That's, that's the way I see it. And um, it came through, I think, in, in the series and indeed in the product. And uh, enthusiasm is a, is a wonderful uh, attribute to have. And you can't, if you've got true enthusiasm, it's very difficult to contain it. And it was self, almost self-fulfilling. We believed in ourselves and had tremendous energy.